Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a tense operation, a North Korean officer, Chul Ryong, infiltrates a warehouse where counterfeit money is being printed. To his shock, he discovers his superior, Ki Sung, and their team are not there to shut down the operation, but to steal gold plates. In a desperate move, Ki Sung holds Chul's wife, Hua Ryong, hostage to ensure his compliance. A violent shootout ensues, resulting in Hua Ryong's tragic death, and Chul sustaining injuries. Meanwhile, North Korean officials gather intelligence on Ki Sung, uncovering his plan to smuggle the gold plates to Seoul, South Korea. In Seoul, Kang Jin Tae is a dedicated South Korean detective, balancing the demands of his job with his responsibilities as a husband and father. In North Korea, Chul faces punishment as the sole survivor of the deadly shootout. He is tasked with a three-day mission to capture Ki Sung, and recover the stolen gold plates in Seoul. Meanwhile, in Seoul, Kang attempts to relax at home, but his daughter sister-in-law and wife keep interrupting him. When his superior offers him a chance to work on a new mission with Chul, to boost his records, Kang initially hesitates. After some contemplation, he ultimately decides to accept the job. Kang and Chul finally come face to face, with their meeting set in a bustling Korean barbecue joint. Little does Chul know, Kang's true mission is to keep a close watch on him, subtly diverting his focus away from his mission, so that the NIS, National Intelligence Service, can get closer to Ki Sung. Initially, they are suspicious of Chul's intentions in pursuing what seems like a routine murderer, sensing a deeper North Korean agenda at play. As Kang plays the role of an unassuming guide, suggesting tourist spots and treating the mission like a leisurely trip, Chul becomes increasingly frustrated with his companion's nonchalant demeanor. Kang's habit of navigating congested roads with ease, all while texting, pushes Chul to his limit. In a moment of exasperation, Chul decides to take matters into his own hands, handcuffing Kang and hailing a taxi to proceed with his mission. Their journey takes them to Myungdong, where rumors suggest that Ki Sung's former associate, Park Myung Ho now resides. However, upon arrival, Chul is surprised to find Jint, a formidable figure, waiting for him instead. Undeterred, Chul follows Jint closely, only to discover that Myung Ho is involved in illicit activities, peddling illegal substances and weapons in the shadows of the city. The stakes of their mission escalate as they delve deeper into Seoul's underworld, uncovering dangerous secrets along the way. As Chul finishes his task, he moves in to make the arrest on Myung Ho, who reacts with violence, firing a gun and fleeing the scene. A tense chase ensues, with Kang in pursuit on foot, while Jin follows in a vehicle. The pursuit is perilous, with near misses and dangerous moments at every turn. Myung Ho manages to steal a car, with Chul and Kang hot on his trail. In a desperate attempt to shake off his pursuers, Myung Ho drives recklessly through the crowded streets. However, Chul, refusing to let him escape, clings to the car. Myung Ho's attempts to dislodge him fail, and in a daring move, he leaps from the speeding vehicle, sending it careening towards innocent pedestrians. Kang, witnessing the imminent danger, rushes into action. He bravely intervenes, managing to guide the panicked pedestrians to safety, including a young girl. Meanwhile, the NIS successfully tracks down Ki Sung's location in Seoul. Ki Sung, now aware of Chul's mission, learns about it from Myung Ho. In response, Chul's superior orders to take him back home under constant surveillance. Taking advantage of a moment of respite, Kang decides to take Chul out for a drink. Unbeknownst to Chul, Kang discreetly attaches a tracking device to him, disguising it as a police officer's identifier. The two return to Kang's residence, where Park Min Young, Kang's sister-in-law, is instantly captivated by Chul's mysterious and cool demeanor. She can't help but sneak glances at him. While Chul is occupied, Kang seizes the opportunity to search through his belongings. Slyly, he plants a tracker on Chul's phone, hoping to keep tabs on his movements. However, Chul soon detects the tracker, and promptly removes it. He contacts his superior, notifying of his intention to abandon their joint mission once he captures Ki Sung. The next morning, Min Young surprises Chul with a lavish feast. Despite his initial reluctance, he finds himself surrounded by warmth and hospitality, as Min Young, along with Kang's wife and daughter, insist on feeding him. Meanwhile, Ki Sung arranges a meeting with a South Korean businessman, intending to sell the stolen master plates used for counterfeiting money. He gives the businessman 24 hours to consider the lucrative deal. As the investigation unfolds, the team learns of the location where Myung Ho has been dealing illegal substances and weapons. Kang attempts to gather information from the suspects, only to have his gun stolen, sparking a violent confrontation. To his astonishment, Chul swiftly incapacitates the assailants one by one, 
using nothing but a wet tissue roll as a weapon. In the aftermath of the brawl, Chul retrieves a phone from one of the defeated men, handing it over to Kang for investigation. Shaken by the intensity of the fight, Kang appeals to his superior to be relieved from the mission. However, his superior insists on pressing forward, recognizing the significance of the newfound information regarding the deal with the South Korean businessmen. The mission intensifies as the team delves deeper into the criminal underworld, each step bringing them closer to the elusive Ki Sung and the dangerous game he plays. As Chul meticulously listens to Kang's phone calls, having secretly bugged his phone during a visit to his home, a different drama unfolds in the household. Min Young finds herself caught in a whirlwind of emotions, contemplating whether she should take the leap and marry Chul. Lost in her thoughts, she creates elaborate imaginary scenarios, each one drawing her closer to the enigmatic officer. Her infatuation deepens when she catches glimpses of him in action, particularly the intense chase with Myung Ho aired on the news. Enthralled by his bravery and determination, Min Young falls harder for Chal, weaving fantasies of a life together. The duo's investigation takes them to a restaurant, where Chul spots Myung Ho in conversation with one of Ki Sung's associates. Sensing trouble, Chul leaves Kang to fend for himself against a group of thugs. Kang, attempting to emulate Chul's infamous tissue roll technique, ends up inadvertently tickling one of the thugs. However, with sheer determination, he manages to hold his ground and fend off the assailants. After seizing illegal goods from Myung Ho, Ki Sung orders for Kang to be eliminated, to tie up loose ends. Just in time, Chul arrives to warn of his imminent demise. A fierce battle ensues between Chul and Ki Sung's comrade, who ultimately escapes, leaving Chul determined to uncover the truth. Back at headquarters, he demands answers directly from Ki Sung. He wants to understand the reasons behind Ki Sung's presence in Seoul, and the relentless pursuit to capture him. Chul reveals that Ki Sung had ruthlessly eliminated everyone in their previous operation, leading to his mission for justice. In a tense turn of events, as he reports his findings to his superior, Kang unwittingly becomes the target of a criminal on probation. Mistaking Chul for an ally, the criminal confronts him, forcing Chul to hastily remove the tracker device. Their mission is now more perilous than ever before. Minute Young, overwhelmed with concern for Chul's well-being, bravely asks him to remove his clothes, so she can tend to his wounds. In a moment of vulnerability, she confesses her feelings, expressing her willingness to accept him as her husband. With a heavy heart, he reveals his heart already belongs to another, leaving her embarrassed and flustered as she runs off. Meanwhile, as the officials delve into Myung Ho's belongings, they uncover crucial information about Chul's mission. Discovering that his phone is being tracked adds urgency to their mission. Before departing, Kang's wife earnestly asks Chul to take care of her husband, ensuring their safe return. Back at headquarters, Kang learns of Ki Sung's sinister plans for his superior, leading to a heated confrontation between the two. The truth unravels, leaving Kang disappointed and Chul feeling exposed. Seeking a mutually beneficial solution, Chul proposes a deal. In exchange for assistance, Chul offers to share some of the stolen master plates. The businessman they approach seems hesitant, bargaining for a lower price and buying time, sensing dissatisfaction. Determined to stop Ki Sung's illicit deal, Chul and Kang arrive at the designated location. They devise a plan to spy on the transaction using a video call or phone surveillance. However, Ki Sung continuously raises the price, and as the clock strikes midnight, he ruthlessly shoots the buyer, and absconds with the master plates. A fierce battle ensues as Chul and Kang confront Ki Sung and his henchmen. Together, they manage to eliminate the henchmen, but Ki Sung narrowly escapes. In a desperate pursuit, Chul commandeers a car, chasing after Ki Sung against his superior's orders. Amidst the chase, Kang strikes a deal with Chul. They agree to split the master plates, in exchange for sparing Ki Sung, and handing him over to the NIS. The chase reaches a climax as Chul successfully corners Ki Sung, confronting him with vengeance in his eyes. Ki Sung however turns the tables, questioning Chul's motives. He accuses the higher-ups of corruption and challenges Chul, questioning whether his pursuit is driven by loyalty to the nation, or personal vendetta for his wife's death. As Chul prepares to exact his revenge, Kang intervenes, giving Ki Sung the opportunity to escape. In a moment of clarity, Chul shares the painful truth about what Ki Sung did to his wife with Kang. Touched by Chul's sacrifice and burdened by guilt, Kang hands over the master plates, urging him to leave before the NIS arrives. In the end, Chul delivers the master plates to the North Korean officials, who instruct him to forget about Ki Sung. Haunted by the memories of his mission and the loss of his wife, Chul walks away, carrying the weight of his past, as he moves forward into an uncertain future. Now, Ki Sung is still alive. 
he kidnaps Kang's family and demands the master plates in return. Terrified, Kang calls Chal for help. Chal, determined to save Kang's family, asks his superior for permission to go after Ki Song. He takes the master plates, and rushes to the location where the family is held captive. When Kang arrives, he learns that there's a bomb set to go off in 10 minutes. Just as hope seems lost, Chal arrives with the master plates, and demands the release of the family. He sends half of the plates to Ki Sung as a show of good faith. Apologizing to Kang for putting his family in danger, Chul urges him to get them to safety. Kang, filled with regret, rushes back to the scene to assist. Chul bravely fights off the henchmen, eliminating most of them. However, when Ki Sung shoots Chul, it seems dire. But just in time, Kang arrives, handing Chul a weapon. Together, they confront him. Despite Chul's severe injuries, they manage to overpower Ki Sung. In a final act of justice, Chul shoots Ki Sung dead, ending the threat. With the ordeal finally over, he hands the master plates to Kang. However, instead of keeping them, Kang throws the plates into the river. The two men share a moment of relief and laughter. Some time later in North Korea, Kang is assigned to catch a serial killer. As they part ways, the two men reflect on their harrowing adventure, knowing they have each other's backs, no matter what. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.